Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to explain Hyperloop technology. First I would like to introduce myself. I am Ashutosh Randeve from Pandarpur. I am studying in KIT's College of Engineering, third year, uh, CSE department and my role number is 40. So let's get started. First we are going to see the modes of transportation. Uh, first is rail. Uh, we, we are going to see the reasons or factors that affects the uh, speed gain. Uh, uh, on road transportation, the, uh, there is also uh, we see the uh, air resistance and the friction between tire and road. Uh, in water also, uh, if we see the boats, uh, if we see the structure of water, there is a layer by layer structure. So, uh, boat have to uh, cut the uh, force of attraction between the uh, two layers. There, uh, there, uh, there is uh, water resistance. Uh, in air, for uh, aeroplanes, uh, also there is uh, air resistance. Uh, later on, we are going to see how uh, Hyperloop uh, eliminates these factors. Hyperloop is proposed by Elon Musk, we all know CEO of Tesla Motors and SpaceX. Hyperloop is nothing but an elevated reduced pressure tube that contains pressurized capsules. Capsule like structure the also known as pods uh, driven within the tubes with high speed uh, by number of linear electric motors. Uh, there is project going on uh, from Los Angeles to uh, San Francisco the distance we can travel uh, in hyperloop in just uh, 30 minutes this first design uh, uh, proposed by elon musk uh, on uh, 12th august 2013 uh, this technology is open source means uh, elon musk has share shared the rights to uh, everyone so that everyone can work on this technology if we see the average speed of Hyperloop, uh, that is nothing but 598 uh, miles per hour, means uh, 962 kilometer per hour, and the high speed is uh, 760 uh, miles per hour, means uh, about 1200 kilometer per hour. But if we see the history uh, in 1799, uh, the British uh, inventor. George Mathers has uh, got the uh, patent on uh, air propellant tube. This the same concept was introduced in 1799 and later on in 2013 Elon Musk uh, came up with the uh, same idea. Component images, uh, two components we uh, seen that capsule like structure also known as pods and tubes needed, vacuum tubes. Here uh, two points are there, Los Angeles and San Francisco between that number of tubes, uh, vacuum tubes will be there and from uh, tubes number of pods carrying passengers uh, will travel. Uh, this is the structure of uh, uh, pods where uh, the, uh, there is a sitting arrangement for the, sitting arrangement for the uh, passengers. Here the main design of capsule and tube uh, this is capsule uh, structure uh, here we see the sitting arrangement and uh, number of uh, tubes vacuum tubes are uh, placed on uh, pillars in this image we can see the uh, number of uh, tubes connected together and from that uh, this uh, pod is uh, traveling as we discussed earlier uh, there are two factors that affects the uh, maximum speed gain that is uh, air resistance and uh, friction between the tire and road uh, here in hyperloop uh, two technologies are used first is uh, a vacuum uh, inside the tubes so that uh, there is uh, no air resistance will be there and and the second is a magnetic levitation so there is a uh, gap between the uh, tube and the uh, capsule so that there will be no friction actually two forces uh, 
applied on that capsule that is first is magnetic force and uh, second is uh, air force as i said this is uh, open source technology so number of companies can uh, work together to develop this technologies uh, uh, if we see in market there are number of uh, companies like uh, virgin hyperloop one uh, another companies like htt uh, transport arivo this also the companies that are uh, working on the same technology next are advantages uh, first is not expensive uh, this technology looks very expensive but uh, if uh, when it is available for the uh, passengers uh, the uh, company said that it will not expensive as uh, as we uh, pay for uh, the no normal train tickets second point is fast we seen the speed of hyperloop 598 miles per hour uh, if we take uh, two cities like mumbai and pune if we travel through by road uh, it will take 3 hours maximum 3 hour, hours if we uh, see the uh, hyperloop technology then we can reach uh, from pune to mumbai in 25 minutes only third point is environment friendly there will be no air pollution noise pollution also it will not generate any waste product emission fourth is sustainable uh, it is more convenient technology and the last point is earthquake resistant the disadvantages are tube pressurization uh, lots of efforts are needed to maintain the pressure inside tube less space for the passengers and uh, turning will be cr critical for the tubes expansion issue also there uh, when temperature increases or decreases conclusion as it has number of advantages we saw it is very helpful for the public transport as well as uh, good goods transport in very short time and in low cost as it is uh, new t new concept so uh we see the uh, challenges like uh, mm, extensive infrastructure uh, so that some future work will be required for the development of this project thanks for watching